Peter, other news in the region. Sunni militants seize the Iraqi city of Mosul. It's Iraq's yeah. second largest city. It's pretty close to the border with Syria, and folks on the Republican side are using this new event to critique administration policy, both in Syria, where they say fighting is spilling over the border into Iraq. They're also critiquing the inability of the administration to secure a status of forces agreement that would have allowed some troops to remain in Iraq. What's the administration's response been to all this? Uh, well, let's be very clear what's going on right now as we've witnessed now uh, that these forces, Al-Qaeda effectively has taken over uh, three of the 18 provinces in that country. There's a groundswell of growth in that effort to try to overcome the efforts that the U.S. had been supporting of the Iraqi uh, security forces to try to gain security in that country right now. It's been clear, as a White House aide said to me uh, a short time ago, that a large-scale military occupation is not the solution here. More than 100,000 American troops there could not prevent uh, a civil war from taking place. But the real concern, obviously, is what's taking place in Syria right now. The White House has said, the administration has said that they would support uh, Senator Carl Levin's amendment that would basically allow for the Department of Defense to help provide more resources to train those forces, the, the opposition forces in Syria right now. But therein lies another problem as well, to not provide uh, military support or too much support to those opposition Opposition forces that may be allied with Al Qaeda, like Al Nusra, or what's called the ISIL. This is a very complicated issue. The White House is aware of it. They know there is not a very good solution to it, but they believe the only way to shift the balance of power is to support the opposition forces in Syria and hope that ultimately that can swell throughout that area, that region. All right, Peter Alexander, thank you.